The MTC Writer Academy newsletter has been put out uh, every Monday, uh, every Monday morning, depending on where you're at, uh, as an email newsletter for those of you that are signed up at the MTC Writer Academy. Okay, so if you're signed up as a member, you get this newsletter every week on Monday, and then we post this and I read it during the live stream. So that's, that's where you get this. So this was written by Nathan. Uh, Nathan is our other instructor right here, MTC Writer Academy instructor. I can't even speak right now, MTC Writer Academy instructor. And he puts out some really good stuff. It really comes out from the, uh, his point of view. He focuses on the smart writer principles just like we all do here, but the tactics, the way things are presented can change as long as we're focused on the actual principles. So what he's doing right here is talking about uh, the reality check. Okay, we're just going to kind of go over some of these bullet points here. The rest of the newsletter, if you got it, great. If you didn't, check your email, check your spam folder. If you're an MTC Writer Academy member, we do have it as a Smart Writer Tips section. So please go over there. You can actually download it if you wanted to. Uh, so what can we learn? So don't be in a rush to get where you're going. You're either early or you're late. So leave early so you can allocate more brain power to being situationally aware instead of what you're going to say to excuse your tardiness. So here's the thing. When it comes to, I actually just had a recent thing that happened with my daughter is that she uh, was late for volleyball practice. And, you know, she's panicking, doing all these things, trying to come up with reasons why, you know, as a child, you know, 14-year-old and child just uh, getting in a bad spot. And I took this as a learning lesson into teaching her, you know what, just be honest, be accountable. Your, your volleyball coach is going to really uh, enjoy that. Uh, you're going to respect that. And uh, you shouldn't have to worry. Uh, if something happens, it's because we're late. So let's just try, not, try to prevent that from happening next time. So we learned now that we don't want to have that anxiety. We don't want to have to use our brain power to come up with an excuse and then, then have to deal with lying and dealing with all these things. Uh, so now she, she knows on her own to, to set an alarm, to pay attention. Um, and, but then at the same time, learning that being accountable for your actions and not rushing and, and just accepting is, is very important. Something I wish I learned as a kid, but it was a great, great opportunity for that. Uh, so make sure when you're getting to a place, because here's the thing, I was the one driving, I wasn't panicked. If you're getting to a place and you're panicking because you're freaking out that you're late, you're going to speed on the road, put yourself in a bad situation to get a ticket, to, to be in a worse position for safety because you're, you're just not paying attention. You're just trying to get there from point A to point B as fast as possible, opening up yourself to more factors, which we see all the time on these crashes and close calls. Speed is a major factor, if not one of the only factors uh, in, that are in every single one of them. Uh, so when you're putting yourself in that situation, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Just accept that you're going to get there about four minutes later than you would if you were speeding, maybe even less than four minutes, and just uh, be accountable for your actions. That's, that's really what it is. So that's my, my, uh, my tip on that one. I don't know if that's what, exactly what he talked about. I do a quick, quick little edit, but, you know, I let him do his thing. Uh, number two, humans were not designed to go as fast as motorcycles can. A crash at high speed will destroy your body, so take the extra three minutes to put your gear on properly before you get on the bike. And that's something I didn't even touch on. If you're in a rush, you're, you're probably not going to put on some gear. So put some, put some gear on, take those three minutes, and get it going, put yourself in that mindset. When you got the gear on, you're a different person. You are a motorcycle rider, you're a smart rider. Before that, you were somebody running late. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to make sure that we're being safe. Um, and that's absolutely right. Our bodies are not designed to go as fast as motorcycles can. Just sprinting and then like getting your legs tripped, like you're, you're sprinting and somebody trips you, just hitting the ground hurts. Imagine. I mean, that's only what, eight miles an hour, maybe, maybe. I don't know how fast you guys can run. I don't know how fast I can run anyways. Uh, but we're going like 60, 65, 80, 35, whatever it is, we crash. That's going to hurt. Our bodies aren't designed for that. The shearing forces on those organs is all it takes for you to bleed out internally. Anyways, practice your mind games. Okay, that's another article that we have on the MTC Writer Academy. So we got a mind game thing. You might want to check it out. Uh, you can practice and plan your escape routes. So number four, be ready to save a life. The goal is to avoid crashing. But if you witness one before the ambulance shows up, step in. If you can stop bleeding and keep the patient warm before the onset of shock, they'll have a much higher survivability rate. It's absolutely true. We just took a TECC class, a tactical emergency casualty care class, uh, together last uh, August 23rd, 24th, I believe. And uh, it was great. We learned quite a bit. We learned that just even keeping people warm before they go into shock from bleeding out is important. But stopping major hemorrhage is really, really, really important. Now, it's up to you if you want to help. It's up to you if you want to help. You don't have to. You don't have to. Uh, if anything, though, make sure you are uh, staying safe yourself. 
Um, one thing that I like, one thing that I, I, I learned kind of depends on your character. So there's a lot of people that will help somebody when they're not in a rush, when they have time. When you're in a rush, you tend to think, I don't have time to stop and help. Now, that situation could happen either way. It really depends on you if you're in a rush or not. Are you that type of person that if you are in a rush and you're running late to work and you see somebody crash, you see somebody hurt, will you still stop knowing full well that you're going to be even later? Or are you the, only, are you the type of person that will stop only if it doesn't take away from you? What kind of person are you? That's, I guess that's just a question for you. That's a question for you. Um, it all depends. Life's short. Who cares if you're late? That's how I think. But then again, I run the MTC Rider Academy, so I could be late if I want. I'm the chief. Anyways, 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 we're going to get into the crashes and close calls now. But you can actually download this. This is all the timestamps right here. Uh, this is actually on the MTC Rider Academy. So this is right here, all the close calls and crash reviews. So if you're an MTC Rider Academy member, you actually get to see stuff all the way to September 24th. We have them uploaded already, but this is September 17th right here, Riding Smart 133. The video isn't uploaded because we're currently doing it. Uh, once we finish this, I'm going to go ahead and upload the video so you can actually watch it. So if this video gets taken down on YouTube, you get to have it here. You get to have all the links and everything that you need. And then at the bottom, you click download. Boom. There it is. You can download it. Bikers, thank you so much for being amazing, allowing us to watch the video and uh, do what we need to do. So right there, we have the video. We have the link to this video. So, you know, Inception, Inception. So let's go ahead and jump into this biker's video. 